so dear students today we are going to start the new chapter and name of the chapter is cyber crime and security so as we all know that in today's world we are increasingly uh, using computers mobile phones laptops and of course all these things with the internet so all these things are developed invented uh to help us in doing our work in day to day life our professional work they are also used for entertainment they are also used for social networking so there are many advantages of all these things in our lives and as we are all experiencing nowadays that around us we can see that everyone has mobile phone everyone is accessing the internet everyone is <coughs> doing their work with the use of the internet playing games and entertainment for the purpose of entertainment for purpose of social networking for the purpose of uh, communication talking to one another in different ways contacting one another in any part of the world shopping education banking playing games watching movies so many things we do with the help of the internet but there is a negative side of the internet also and that is that internet could be harmful to us also because internet has a risk factor and the risk factor for our data and for our privacy so internet is not completely secure so it is very important for us that we should be aware of what are the negative aspects of the internet and the computing device the mobile phone or the laptop that we are using with the internet and they are internet is a threat to our data to our privacy and uh, of course the security of our information that we put on the inter- internet from our computers and mobile phones so uh, we should be very very cautious while working on the internet we should not put much of the information about ourselves our family about our profession financial details bank details so many things we should put the least amount of information that we could on the internet because that information that we are putting on the inf- internet that could be used in a negative manner and that may harm us so especially we should not share the confidential information such as user names passwords pins with anyone we should be very very strict about it now let's come to the next topic computer rules or cyber ethics so what is the meaning of cyber ethics so as in our day to day life we uh believe in certain rules in certain manners in certain way in which we should behave and that is our behavior should be good to others and we should be thoughtful about the well being of others we should not f- harm others we should not do anything that is in any way hurt sentiments of other people in the same way when we are 
online when we are using the internet when we are using our mobile phones laptops or computers then we should be very careful that we should not behave online in any way in such a way that may be objectionable or harmful to others so as we follow uh, certain ethics in our daily life uh, these good ethics these positive things should also be used while working on the internet we should not use bad language we should not uh, follow someone or stalk someone or we should not uh, uh, annoy someone by sending messages if someone does not want or contact someone who is not willing to contact us uh we should not uh, be after the private information of any other individual the information that the other person does not want to share with us so in short we should not cause any inconvenience to other people and we should not uh violate these rules these ethics while we are working on the internet or in other words we can say while we are online now uh what is software piracy piracy is uh, something which is Uh, somewhat uh, has spread all over and piracy means copying a software in a illegal manner so, so what is the meaning of copying or downloading a software in a illegal manner every software that we use it is generally a licensed software that it comes with a price and for a time duration and for that software we are given a license to use that software we are not owner dot of that software we are being given for example we are using windows 10 for example we are using office ms office so these softwares are provided to us as the license software by microsoft and we use the license and we buy the license for a certain price but uh generally these softwares are used in a pirated manner where these softwares are copied and installed again and again on different systems without getting a legal license from the microsoft so any act of downloading or copying a program for which the user has not paid is called as software piracy so obviously it is illegal and it uh, could result in punishment if someone is found to be indulging in the software piracy so uh buying the authorized software buying the license software uh, it is another thing that if some software is provided by the company for free then obviously there is no piracy because the company is providing the software for free there are many open source softwares which are provided free and which are we which uh, people can download and install on their computers but for the softwares which are uh which come with a price they are being used if they are being used without paying any price and downloaded and installed on the computer then it is illegal so we will now go through the types of piracy that uh people could indulge in the first is uh 
called as internet piracy so what is uh, the meaning of internet piracy internet piracy means uh, which is also called as the online piracy is when illegal software is sold shared and acquired by the means of internet the internet piracy is when a software is put on the internet illegally and that software could be downloaded by others without paying any price and used by others with out taking any license the other type of piracy is the end user piracy the end user piracy means that if a person is involved in copying a software and selling that software to other people without authorization for example someone downloads the software and copies their software on the cds and dvds or maybe pen drive and then sells these softwares to the people for some price so this type of piracy is called as the end user piracy then there is another type of piracy which is called as pre installed software piracy so whenever we buy a computer whenever we buy a desktop then uh, we must have the license software installed on a laptops or desktops but what happens whenever we buy a computer whenever we buy a laptop and if uh, the license software does not come with these devices then these hardware vendors who are selling and assembling the computers they install a pirated software on the computer system and they give it to the customers so these pre installed softwares which are installed by the hardware vendor who has supplied us a desktop or a laptop is indulging in the pre installed software piracy where the peop- the person who is selling the computers or laptops is installing the pirated softwares on the computer and it is giving to the customer then uh again the counterfeiting counterfeiting is again the copying and selling of the duplicate cds and dvds at a very low price for example if we go to the market to buy a windows 10 operating system for installing for installing on our computer system then it will cost you around 5000 or 6000 rupees but if you or a person is buying a pirated cd then a pirate cd of a windows is available in 200 250 rupees or maybe 300 rupees so you may compare the cost from 5 6000 rupees to 300 rupees so there is so much of difference so obviously the pirate softwares have their uh, disadvantages and the license softwares that we are buying legally have their own advantages and uh, the pirate softwares they did not get updated and there are many problems the, they are prone to viruses and there are many other problems that come when we have illegal software installed on our computer system then uh, the other is the online auction privacy uh, piracy again uh, the selling of pirated softwares online downloading pirated softwares uh, on computer systems and distribution of pirate softwares uh, by taking some price online is called as online auction piracy so obviously it is a, it is very risky because whatever softwares we download from the internet and uh, obviously they are not authorized then they mm, are a risk to a computer system and they may be uh, very very harmful for a computer system because they may contain viruses which obviously in turn may harm our computer system and data so these are the different type of piracies that may happen uh, or the people are indulged in these type of piracy of softwares so that's all for today students thank you